uh, I'll commend the bill to the House. Thank you. Um, I call Lawrence Yule, five minutes. Mr Speaker, it's my pleasure to speak on the Criminal Cases Review Commission bill. And as has already been outlined uh, by my colleagues uh, last evening, um, we are opposing the bill. And there's a very simple reason for that. We just don't believe it's necessary. That's right. So this bill, this bill establishes a Criminal Cases Review Commission, and the Commission's purpose is to review convictions and sentences and decide whether to refer them to the Appeal Court. And as has previously been said, this will replace the power currently exercised by the Governor-General. The Criminal Cases Review Commission provides a mechanism for ad addressing miscarriages of justice, Mr Speaker as an independent body. It can refer cases back to the appeal courts, but it does not determine guilt or innocence. In our view, on this side of the House, this will open the floodgates to a whole lot of people who believe they have a miscarriage of justice and allow a lower threshold of entry into an appeal system than currently exists. I'll remind members of the other House who think this is such a wonderful idea that two-thirds of the commissioners in this bill are not required to be legally qualified, making untrained and unaccountable commissioners extremely powerful, Mr Speaker. And the remaining one-third of the commissioners are not required to have criminal legal expertise or experience. Mm. Mr Speaker, this sets a very dangerous precedent. Very dangerous. It should not be easy. It should not be easy for somebody to actually bypass the court system if they want to appeal something, because at the moment they have to go to the Governor General. It's a high threshold for that to happen, and as part of the Governor General's decision making, she or he at the time take advice from the Minister in charge with all the lawyers. The status quo, Mr. Mr. Speaker does mean that there is an appeal mechanism currently available. It's not used that often, but it is available. What we've got here is we're setting up another commission. We're advised that the setup cost of this is $2.3 million to establish, and we'll have an annual operating budget of $3.9 million per year. So it's not an insignificant entity. The mere nature of that would indicate to me and members of this side of the House that we are expecting an influx of these types of appeal processes. And as I said before, it will lead to the floodgates being opened. The low threshold for people referring things back to the court will actually see more pressure placed on the courts. Mm. And we already know. We already know that the courts are overloaded. We already know that in many court jurisdictions, people are waiting for months, sometimes over a year, for a hearing. So we are now allowing somebody to go through this process, and I'll remind members of the other side, on any crime, not just a certain threshold of crime, on any crime, they can take it to this authority. So I'll remind members. The, the Commission will receive applications from eligible persons or their authorised representatives, carry out activities it considers necessary to make the functions known to and understand by the public, in other words, to promote the body, have the ability to undertake initial inquiries into a conviction or sentence, undertake thematic reviews into a practice, policy, procedures, etc., and have reasonable powers to obtain information relevant to the investigation. Now, Mr Speaker, there is a whole lot of these things that is unclear, and I remind members of this House, it should by, be by exception that this type of appeal to the Governor-General should be used. That's right. What we're happening here is normalising this, and there's a whole lot of things that are equally not laid out in this bill. Shameful. The bill is silent on the possibility that a decision by the Commission could be subject to judicial review proceedings. Oh. In other words, at the moment, this decision by the Commission is not appealable on either side, even by the court or the people that represented the, the original um, prosecution. There is no limit on the types of matters that can be reviewed, as long as it's a crime. 
This opens the floodgates, Mr Speaker, and in our view it should be strongly opposed, and we are opposing it. I call Priyanka Radhakrishnan. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, I, it's with great pleasure.